Adani Ports. Now, this has been one of the companies that largely most of the fundamental experts have actually always favoured because of uh, the opportunities that it presents, the scalability that there is, the focus that the company has, and of course, the way industry is going to shape up over the next 5-10 years odd or so. Several positives that have always been, uh, you know, keeping Adani Ports right up there amidst the uh, selection process when one has to look at all the 10 stocks that are listed. Today, it dropped 20%. It's recovered about 7 odd percent right there. At 11.15, how would you really look at Adani Ports? So again, this was a counter which I thought of shorting, in fact, uh, if the closing was near to the low. But surprisingly, as you correctly mentioned, from the extreme lows of 995, 996, this counter has recovered really sharply. And the volumes are as high as the volume which we saw on 4th June when the counter was down by 21% in a, in a day itself. So this looks to me like someone who sold in the month of June 2024 is trying to accumulate now again. So considering the support of 1000, one can again think of initiating a buy. Don't buy just because you know the counter is going up as of now. Buy when the counter goes into sideways consolidation near the support. So support right now is 1000 itself. Considering 1000 as a stop loss, one can definitely buy and the targets can be 1300 where we saw the entire 6 months consolidation support. So. 1300 being target, uh, 1000 being stop loss, one can definitely strategize accordingly. Got it. Now, overall on the Adani group, uh, before we leave this debate and understanding, uh, Kunal, I know I'm throwing a difficult question to you, but a lot of viewers are already asking that what next now after the downfall that we have seen today? Will tomorrow be another painful day? Will we see recovery from the levels that we have seen already? And uh, how should investors really look at Adani group stocks from tomorrow's perspective today, last 15 minutes of trade remaining? Certainly, yeah. the problem here is that the chaos is very high and we really don't know the effects and the uh, the things going to go happen in the for, in the future. Uh, on one side, we have, you know, the, the local company, which is doing really good on the global front. And on the other side, we have SEC, which is the which is the, the father figure for almost all the countries, uh, the financial markets. They are they are putting the allegation on it. So now it's a tug of war between the two giants for us. So let's keep the chaos aside and focus on the counters. So if I just look at the counters, which I missed out probably a year back or two years back. They are available to me right near the low itself. If I am missing out on my 5% stop loss, on the other side, we have Mr. Gautam Adani who lost out billions of dollars in a day because of this kind of corrections, right? So considering the ethical standards which are being followed by the company, we assume that. So considering that, I think this is good buying opportunity. The stocks are available at the bottom only when there is problem. And so just focusing on that, I think this can be a good buying opportunity. I am not going to buy entire Adani pack right now but as I just mentioned you know the counters which are really good near to the support we can definitely buy one such counter is Adani total guess I'm very bullish the stock being 550 one can initiate buy on this counter it can be a game changer for for the time to come so yeah selectively I'm bullish on this entire pack Okay, got that. So there you have it on the Adani Group stocks and various stocks we have discussed and Kunal has really given his points of view right there. Uh, don't go overboard. Don't go for all of them. Look at select pockets where our valuations are comfortable. The trend is looking positive at this point in time and that's how Kunal has guided all of you to really look at some of these stocks as opportunities. <laughs>